Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today's Windows 10 tutorial is going to cover how to take screenshots. Now, bear in mind, this will only apply to devices with a physical keyboard, like a laptop or a desktop. And the source material for today's video is used uh, with permission from howtogeek.com. It started out as uh, doing their article for the new keyboard shortcuts in Windows 10. But uh, as I was going through it, I saw the screenshots and I felt like we needed a whole video dedicated to that. So we're going to cover four different methods today. And to start out with, for any newbies here, uh, on these methods we're going to be using a couple different keys just to make sure you know which ones they are. The Windows logo key that I'll mention is this one right here. We'll be using the Alt key right next to your spacebar. And the print screen will be in a different location, but it will be PRTSCN on your keyboard. And on each one, we'll hold the Windows key or the Alt key and then tap print screen. Now if you're on a laptop and you don't have the full keyboard, you may have to use function key to get to your print screen key. So in that case, you'll be like holding Windows key, touching, holding function, and then tapping print screen. I know that gets a little tricky on a laptop, but either way, going to the first method, which is just tapping the print screen button. What this does is it gets the whole desktop a screenshot. So I'm going to go ahead and tap print screen, and you'll notice nothing happened here. What this shortcut does is it actually copies it to the system's clipboard, kind of like you copy and paste text. So we have to paste it into something, and we'll have to use a graphics program which don't worry you don't have to have Photoshop or anything all we need is Windows Paint or Microsoft Paint so go down to your search bar and start typing in paint and you'll see it pop up and click on it now like I said it's already copied the clipboard so all we have to do here is click on paste and there it is a whole screenshot of our desktop and from here we can edit it however we need to uh, crop it resize it whatever the main thing to know here is that when you go to file to save it, you can come down to save as and you can change it to a PNG, JPEG or whatever you need it to. So that's the first method. The next method is using the Windows key and the print screen button. Now before we do this, you're going to see on mine that uh, the screen dims just really quickly. Now this is an animation they've thrown into Windows 10 to let you know you've taken a screenshot. If for any reason you don't see this animation, you can come down to your Windows Start button here and right click on it. Go to System. And we want to click on Advanced System Settings. And under Performance, we click on Settings. Now I won't go into too much on what this controls. Everybody's will be different based on your system and performance. but. The main one we're looking at here that controls this will be this Animate Windows when minimizing and maximizing. Make sure that is checkmarked. If it's not, checkmark it, hit Apply, and OK. And if you're not worried about it uh, and you don't see the dimming, uh, it's still taking the screenshot, so no worries on that. But let's go ahead and try it out. We'll hit the Windows key and then Print Screen. And you saw the dimming. Now, with this one, it actually puts it in a folder, in the Pictures folder. So go to your File Explorer, or however you like to go to your Pictures folder, and there'll be another folder that's named Screenshots in it. Now in here, it uh, numbers them sequentially, and you can rename these or move them to different folders, however you like. But each time you do Windows key and Print Screen, it'll go straight to the Screenshots folder. And it does take the entire desktop. And that's the second method. The third one will be using the Alt button with Print Screen. So this one's going to be a bit like the first method, but uh, there's quite a few differences in it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple windows. And now you see I've got three windows open. Now the relevance to this is that using this shortcut, the Alt and Print Screen, it's going to take a screenshot of only the active window, 
no matter the size, if you have it resized, small, large, whatever, whatever the active window that you're working on is, that's all it's going to take. So if you don't know what active windows are, you can come down here and whatever's highlighted, like right now you can see that my Google Chrome one is lit up, that means it's my active window. If I were to click back here to the C Cleaner, you can see it lights up. So that's how you identify what your active window is. So to demonstrate, we're going to go ahead and hold Alt and tap Print Screen. I don't notice nothing happened. This one's like our first uh, method where we just tapped Print Screen and it copied it to the clipboard. Uh, same principle here. It's copying it to the system clipboard and we have to paste it into something. And once again, we use Microsoft Paint and we'll click on paste. Now if you look closely, you don't see any of my desktop. You only see what was on that active window and what I could see on it. Now you're probably wondering why you would want this as opposed to just a full desk screenshot and to crop it or whatever. Uh, this takes a good resolution of just what the window that you want to be seen. So if you're in a forum trying to do some tech troubleshooting or anything, or if you're sharing something with somebody and you don't want to show all the other stuff you have going on on your computer, this is a great way to show just that. And from here you can even uh, go in and crop it or uh, do whatever you need to further. And same way as the first method, you can go to File and Save As and save it however you like, wherever you like. Now, the last method. And this is the method that I use. I don't use keyboard shortcuts for screenshots at all. I actually use the old school snipping tool, which I've got pinned to my taskbar here. But if you don't, you can come down to your search bar and start typing in snipping. And we'll go ahead and click on the snipping tool. It does about four different ones here. And we'll go through these real quick. But the freeform snip, which I got to by clicking on the little drop down next to the new button here, I can click on it. And what this will do is when I left click and hold, uh, I can create a shape of anything I want to take a screenshot of. So let's say I just want to go down to this Chive Charities. I just want that. So do a real rough outline. And once I release the left click button or the left mouse button, it'll pop up with just what I selected. And from there, and this will be with any other image with the snipping tool, I can go to File and Save As and save it however I like. By default, it's a PNG. Uh, most people want to change it to a JPEG. You can change it however you like, and then you can save it wherever you like and rename it. So just from the very first tool on that you can see that it's a lot more versatile as far as how you save it uh, where you save it and uh, the type of snip that you need now the second one under the snipping tool is the rectangular snip in this one you uh, just pick the area once you left click and hold you drag and you just isolate whatever you want a picture of or a screenshot of once you release your left mouse button, it'll pop up just as last time. Uh, next one here, let's see, it is the window snip. So actually I'm going to open a window up. So we have a couple windows open like we did on the last one here. If I go and click for a window snip, you're going to see a little slight change as you're moving around as I go from my two open windows from notepad to Google Chrome it's gonna let me select which active window or which window I want to make active for a screenshot so let's say I want just a screenshot of my Google Chrome I'll go back here to where it's highlighted click and actually that one did it a little strange it's supposed to just take a click of that area so we'll try that one more time which I never use this one there we go and I clicked on it and you'll see it just selected that window with the Google Chrome but for the most part usually if I did something like that I'd use the rectangular snipping tool and the last one is the full screen snip 
As soon as I click on it, anything that was on the screen, the full desktop will have a screenshot. So guys, uh, to kind of wrap it up there, as you can see, you've got some desktop shortcuts if you really need to use them, but the snipping tool is really going to be your best option. And guys, you'll notice I have a new desktop background than the previous videos I've made. I'm a big supporter of uh, the Chive and Chive Nation. Uh, recently, I've gotten into a local group uh, that's really opened my eyes to a lot of the charitable acts that this group does. So uh, I'm going to put some links in the description, and you've got the link right here for Chive Charities. Um, I'll have another video that's totally separate and not monetized that describes a little bit more about the Chive, the Chive Charities, and uh, how to get involved with your local communities. But guys, if uh, the video helped, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep calm and chive on.